What a pointless slaughter. All in the name of religion, power and greed. Our military buildings will tell these stories for a long time. The country is littered with them. Defensive walls, fortifications and trenches. What an arms race. This is how Osama ibn Munqif, an Arab emir who lived in the 12th century, speaks about the Crusades in his memoirs. But what does he say about the relationship between Crusaders and the local people? In Arabic sources from the time, the Crusaders were referred to as the Franks, as they mostly came from modern-day Europe. We got to know each other better and better. Let me tell a little story from my friend from Antioch. I am invited by a friend of mine who is a friend. Thou shouldst come with me so that thou mayest see their fashions. I went along with him and we came to the home of a knight who belonged to the old category of knights who came with the early expeditions of the Franks. The knight presented an excellent tale, with food extraordinarily clean and delicious. Seeing me abstaining from food, he said, Eat, be of good cheer. I never eat Frankish dishes, but I have Egyptian women cooks and never eat except their cooking. Besides, pork never enters my home. So they had a few things in common, but what were the trade relations like? Trade moved along the eastern Mediterranean coast. Pilgrims were not the only ones to use the port of Accra. European merchants also traded here with the goods they acquired in the principalities. In Tyre, there was a very popular glass beautifully painted with enamel and gold. Ceramic vessels, metalwork, silk fabrics, ivory carvings, and much more were traded to Europe. Venice and Genoa became rich cities as a result. And the influence was evident all over Europe. Products from the Arab region were even made there. The Crusades were more than is often assumed today. There was also extensive cultural exchange and peaceful contacts that benefited all sides. Also, the fronts were anything but clear. Various Christian and Muslim groups fought against each other and among themselves, as you can still see in the landscape today. There is not just one view of the time of the Crusades. Maybe we should rethink our previous perspective.